Welcome back. Now the show is still interactive. We want to hear from you. And um, we've been having conversations about ECG and the various challenges that are going on around the country. The global lands, we really hope that um, uh, calm heads prevail, really. And uh, we restore their situation back to normal where they have power. Then again, also, the issue going on with the disconnection. I think that everybody who is found culpable um, should be fined, dealt with appropriately by the law. Then, let's go over to the Quabre um, area. Now, we have an issue of challenges with poor roads and poor road network. So, it's not just poor roads, but also poor road network in the Quabri region. We are a uh, correspondent for the Middle Belt, um, Edward Opon Mafo, has this report for us. Let's take a look. From Ejimem to Fade, Kenyase, Abrim to Antwa, Krobo to Sakrawono, these are communities within the Quabri East Municipality which have bad roads. Anger is growing among residents from these communities who want their roads to be fixed. When even a, um, a lady or a woman is in labor, we, the clinic that we have, the hospital we are having is a small clinic, and it takes only one doctor, one doctor to be at the hospital, at the clinic. So before a lady gets into labor, we must transfer the lady from Antua to somewhere G or Mencia Government Hospital. And before the person will get there, the most sudden thing is that the person might deliver in the car, whilst not even reaching at the destination where he or she is uh, moving to. But one thing is, others to get died because they get a lot of breathing whilst they are in labor. So they die. This quarry road, especially Antwerp Road, is beyond lobbying. How, what is more lobbying than the presidency? The whole presidency in the convoy traveling along this road pass through Antwerp, pass through uh, Abrim, uh, Adesna, and all the other roads, and go and organize the funeral rite of Honorable Sir John. And you tell them that somebody needs to come and tell you that you have to lobby before you do the road. No, I hope that. They know it. They know the stakes of the road. In the Kwabri East Municipality, the onset of rains remains a nightmare for drivers and commuters because of the effects on both business and health. Residents are agitated. They want the situation addressed. For residents of the Quabri East constituency, there is the need for the governing MPP to reward their loyalty by improving road infrastructure within the area. Quabri mine, any Asante mine, a DA. Ni ebe ti mi akase MPP aban ba ye wa ya ma ye bibi ebe koso wa asanti ma mu ha bia obe hwe mu a na eye aban fufuro bi enso kwa bere ene kwa bere titiru kwa bere ye to aba e de ma MPP so mo mebo aye so hwa last general election e ye ye kwa bere ha ye nya more than 86 86 86000 votes e na de ma MP e na de ma MPP so we have Quabri ha, Quabri ha. Quain, a Quain Ben, I'll bet you me a Quabri Quain way. Aye, Quabri a Quain you know You say, do do another day. I see a mutiny. You say, Sebi Sebi impressed you, sir. So did do a crowd be see what? Now the MPP flag. I say no one. I bet you about Eddie Amano. Sam 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 your mano. Residents from communities in the municipality are also demanding the urgent fixing of their road network. If we are true members of Ghana. We want to tell both Dana Kufuado and Baumia and the MPP government as a whole that if they don't come and do the road, they don't come and construct the road for us, they to forget about us. We are not going to vote anymore. What we want now is that the MPP government should come and construct our road for us. That's all that we need. It was just our few months uh, to the elections that we saw some machinery on, on this uh, Antwerp stretch. We thought that, oh, the problem is going to uh, be resolved. Just a few weeks to the election, now the construction just was stalled. Then up to now, we've not seen any uh, contractor on the road. So we are demanding, especially in the Quabre East and Antwerp in particular. 
So clearly emotions and passions are high in Kwavri, and rightly so. Let's speak to Hafiz Tijani, he's our Ashanti Regional Correspondent. Hafiz, good morning. Good morning, Apioko. How are you doing? I'm well, how are you too? I'm well, thank you. I'm well. Let's talk about, as for bad roads and bad road network, it's been a conversation for decades. But we're seeing images that we haven't seen before. So let's talk about what's happening in Kwabri East and, you know, in the general area. You know, what's happening? What, what are, what, what's the, the government saying? What are the authorities saying? Really, what, what's the state? So for the past weeks, uh, this has been the conversation that is dominating the whole of the areas within the Kwabri East municipality. Like you heard some of the sentiments being put out by some of the residents at Antwa. Uh, who are part of this constituency or this municipality, they are not all happy. Coming here this morning, uh, you can even feel that this is Busori, uh, one of the busiest uh, routes here in the Kwabri East municipality. And the concern for residents is that these roads are link roads to major towns within the Ashanti region for people who are traveling to um, Edra and Mampong, and even Yeji uh, in the Buni East region. Most of them sometimes would have to uh, do away with the traffic on the main Kumasi Edra stretch so that they can use some of these access routes. And these access routes are not favorable to uh, drivers and commuters because of the bad nature of uh, these roads. So you talk of the Ejumem Fadi Road. Uh, which is a major access route. You talk of the Kenya Se Abrim stretch to Antwa, which is also a major access route. You talk of where we are currently, the Busuare stretch. This links you to um, the main Kumase Edra stretch and Mampon stretch. And this road is not good. The dust this morning is just unbearable for drivers and other commuters who are applying this stretch and for uh, when is the rainy season uh, the situation gets worse people are not able to maneuver through the muddy roads to and from their destination so it's been uh, a heavy and a general concern and that is the talk in this community when you come it's just about roads and nothing else hmm. so Hafiz are these official access routes or there are access routes that have developed over time because of how community is also developing? Well, when you look at the Kwabri East municipality, it's one of the fastest growing municipalities with growing population. New buildings are being put up in areas, uh, springing up in areas uh, like the Antwa, uh, Adesina, Krobo, Ahonjo, Sakrawono, and other areas within the municipality. So the demand for roads is getting high. Uh, the demand for roads does not, or the road network does not match with the kind of population you are seeing here. So on a Monday morning, usually when you have students and other traders who are going to the central business district competing for vehicles, Sometimes the vehicles or the drivers do not even want to go to these areas because of the nature of the roads within the area. So you find people on Monday morning, Tuesday mornings being stranded, usually within the weekdays, being stranded at the major bus terminals or major intersections uh, that they would usually stop over to find vehicles or to get vehicles to either schools or their places of trade. So it's been a major concern for uh, many residents here. So the population here keeps growing, the municipality keeps expanding, and some people even feel that this municipality, because of its large nature, it should be uh, demarcated so that uh, they can have Kwabri East, Kwabri West, so development can come there. People think that because of the large and heterogeneous nature of the municipality, 
development is not able to get to major areas within the area. So if there's a demarcation, uh, some kind of development can come so people can be relieved. Okay, so Hafiz, in all of this, ha have the people of Kabir East heard from, I mean, I mean, the smaller communities, the MCEs or the DCEs? Is anybody s saying anything? What kind of, yes, we're hearing that the people are agitating, the people are lobbying, they're speaking up, but the authorities who are responsible for development at the local level, are they saying anything, you know, to the stakeholders in all of this? Well, I have spoken to the Member of Parliament for this area. I have also spoken to the Municipal Chief Executive for this area. What they tell you is that this problem is beyond them. They have tried to lobby to get the roads done for their constituents. But you speak to the other constituents who are the residents and road users who also tell you that this is beyond lobbying because recently when the former general secretary or the late and uh, former general secretary of the MPP, uh, the late Sir John, he comes from this municipality, Sakra will know to be precise. When he died, the president and his entourage used roads within this area to the funeral ground. So they say that the president himself, those responsible who can just issue a command or a directive for the road to be done, they have used this stretch. So the issue about lobbying is not a case. But you speak to the authorities, they tell you it's beyond them. They have tried to get the authorities to do it, and that is in the pipeline, usually, as they will say. Uh, but one thing also that is getting residents here agitated is that before the 2020 general election, we had contractors on major uh, stretches like the uh, Kenya City to Antua, Kenya City Abraham to Antua stretch, they were working assiduously um, as if the road network was going to be done on that day or completed on that same day. But just after voting, though the drains were done, the contractors at some of these roads or who were on some of these roads working on them. Uh, move out from site and the residents are not just happy. Uh, they claim that this is something the authorities are doing just to get them to vote. Then after voting, they would go away and they will not come back. But the drains have been done and uh, now residents are saying that if the drains have been done, why don't you just construct the road so that it will not be another cost when you come back to uh, reconstruct or continue with the construction of the road. So that is the concern for a lot of residents and authorities here at the local level uh, are not able to manage the situation. And now the chiefs and traditional authorities within this area are jumping into the circle, trying to also add their voices to the cause by their subjects. So today we are, uh, there's a scheduled press conference later in the day by the chief of the Mampontin. Mampontin is the district capital of the municipality. So he is going to lead uh, the chiefs from various communities, over 20 communities in this area, to also add their voices to the cause for the roads here to be constructed. All right, have you, do you have any residents uh, close by that want to share their sentiments? Let's hear from yeah, you. exactly. Uh, they were even ready to speak to us when we arrived here. All right. And they have been, uh, this woman in particular, she uh, works close to the road and she would tell us the uh, suffering or maybe the conditions they go through yeah. on this road. Yeah. Yeah, so, Papa. Yes, I'm going to talk to you about the city. Yes, I'm going to talk to you about the and the crepa, I'm better. I better have some customer by Yama. You can't see and two. And the Francisca Bess or by Yama, if you say no one, test it twenty twenty four day. Yan to a man by the end to a bar. I foot trading. How bad, Eddie Bremo? And foot to your young one, Papa. If you crow crowns me, shall your white in cook room. Say one more idea, Banny and two beer, Barbara mine. I'm Jambosha the maker. 
well, so she is talking about the dusty nature of the road. Uh, they are not able to uh, even wear uh, white dress to occasions when uh, they feel like doing so because mm. of the dusty nature of the road. Mm. And I asked her also, uh, how is the situation when it rains? And she says that the situation gets worse because they apply it worsens whenever there's a downpour or when they enter the rainy season because of the muddy nature of the uh, roads here. And that uh, they are not going to vote before the 2020 election uh, work was ongoing um, at several locations or uh, several communities within the area to upgrade the road. But immediately after the elections, the uh, contractors moved out of sight and they uh, are not coming back to do the road and they have been left to suffer the ordeal. Um, Auntie, uh, Saturday, Muni Assembly Member Akasa, Eden Omukachamu, Omuka Assembly Mitina, Eden Potina. Uh, so she's talking about the assembly member uh, who is at the local level and can push their concerns to the uh, municipal assembly in terms of getting the authorities to construct their road for them. And she's not happy about efforts being made by the assembly member for this area, not able to uh, get the road done. I have another resident here okay. who will speak to us. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, Ekwani <laughs> We so about the same thing, sir. And you about to about to air tunnel. You two about to and young fast war. And yes, it be a open panel. Say, be a penny, and peeping me, and peeping into me, tie a banner ching and two about, sir. Say, say, and in the Naba. Oh, a planning yet. Nippon would to chroma, and you say, I said, would to village. Would to me shanty a white MPA. Oh, and you tell me, catch her by no one can know why because you're planning yet. Because <laughs> Even crying, if you cry, and 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 you cry, Hafiz, take us to the car. Okay, Let's go so, to the car. So, so his car is here. He's leading us to the vehicle. Good. Okay. Uh, he's complaining about the damage the road has caused to his uh, vehicle. Mm. So he has parked the vehicle here trying to check uh, the fault here. The driver just stopped. He got down from the vehicle because he saw us talking about the road. So he's showing us wow. uh, what has happened. So uh, this has just uh, been removed yeah. from wow. his car because of the nature of the road. So uh, uh, this is a regular user of the road. 
uh, who is experiencing this problem. For first time users of the road, sometimes when they are not aware uh, of the nature of the road on how to maneuver through, uh, they find it very difficult to maneuver. And this man here is just angry because this morning he is supposed to go to work and this has happened. And these are some, uh, just, uh, but a few of some of these incidences mm. uh, that keep occurring on roads within the Kwabi East municipality. <laughs> and this is what you find drivers and other road users go through using this stretch. And the situation is just unbearable for road users here when it's the rainy season mm. because the muddy nature of the road, yeah. uh, not even the deaths that would uh, get to one's uh, dress or maybe their vehicles, but how they are about to maneuver. So the concern is general. Like we said, uh, the chiefs also are adding their voices to the calls for government to come and construct these roads. Thank you so Thank much, Hafiz. Thank really you. Really appreciate Hafiz. your time this morning. Thank, Thank, you. You. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So that was our colleague, Hafiz Tijani, uh, bringing us from the Ashanti region, of course, to bring it us um, some first hand experiences of what people are going through in the Kwabri East municipality. Uh, Busori, specifically, that's where he is. All right. So, well, we'll take a quick break. Yeah. And uh, there's more to come on Breakfast Daily. Don't go anywhere.